And now Queen Six learning about plans tonight for law enforcement in Southwest Washington to pay tribute to one of their own. That's days after an off duty Vancouver police officer was killed by a Clark County deputy. The investigation into how the shooting unfolded is still ongoing, but prosecutors say Saturday night officer Donald Sohota was fighting with a robbery suspect who ended up at the officer's house after running away from police. The suspect is accused of stabbing Sohota, then running inside the officer's home. He tried to get back into his home while armed with a handgun, and that's when Clark County Sheriff's deputies searching for the suspect arrived. One, opening fire within seconds, killing Sahota outside his own front door. Jenny Young tonight going beyond the headlines as we're still very early in this investigation. Jenny, what do we know about the event itself? Liz, ha flags at half staff tonight at the Vancouver Police Department, and uh, we know that there's going to be a vigil for law enforcement only um, in honor of Officer Sahota. That's going to be on Friday, and they're not releasing the time um, and location of that vigil. But we reported yesterday when investigators released the identity of that deputy who opened fire, uh, Deputy Jonathan Feller. And he was involved in a high profile deputy involved shooting back in 2020. And we're going to share his account of that shooting. I knew that to be the front end of a gun and I knew that to be to be a barrel pointed directly at me. Audio recording from November 9th, 2020. Clark County Deputy Jonathan Feller being interviewed by Longview Police Detectives in charge of investigating the officer involved shooting death of Kevin Peterson that happened October 29th in Hazeldale. Feller was one of three deputies who shot Peterson after the 21 year old ran during a drug sting. As I'm pulling up in my Tahoe, I see him running northbound. Um, as I'm putting in park, I look out, I can see him. It looks like he has his hand up to his He's running. And then I can he see his right arm his swinging. Be careful, not and as gun. his right arm was swinging, I could see the gun in his right hand. Feller then tells detectives he got out of his vehicle and immediately drew his gun. I just started giving him commands. Get on the ground, uh, drop the gun, get on the ground, drop the gun, get on the ground. And I was just yelling those commands. Uh, repeatedly. According to Feller's account, Peterson was jogging. He continued walking in Peterson's anticipated direction. We came to where we were directly across from one another. I had my handgun pointed at him, still yelling, uh, drop the gun, get on the ground, drop the gun, get on the ground. And he turns towards me and I can see the gun is in his right hand. It's at his waist level and it's at, at his waist, pointed out from his waist, and the barrel's pointed right at me. Beller goes on to say that in that moment, he heard gunshots and thought Peterson had fired at him. I didn't see any muzzle flash from the barrel, but at that point, I'd heard gunshots from my left, and I thought he was firing at me. I started uh, returning fire, shooting at him at that time. I, all I knew is I had to stop him at that time because I believed he was firing at me. Feller went on to say that those gunshots he heard were deputies or from deputies around him. Now that shooting was ruled justified by the Pierce County Prosecutor's Office. We are still working to learn more. Like you said, Liz, this is an ongoing investigation, still early in this investigation. And one thing we're trying to find out, if Feller has been interviewed by the Lower Columbia Major Crimes Team, who is in charge of officer of the investigation into Officer Sahota's death. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin Six News.